morning, guys. <clears throat> Saturday morning. Uh, you know, last video I just hung this door and kind of tweaked the uh, gaps and stuff. Um, I'm just going to finish up all the body work in this whole side, this corner. <clears throat> Excuse me, this corner here. And then uh, I could pull the truck back and get on the other side, hang the other door. It's already been block sanded. And uh, then we get on the uh, steering column brackets to mount it under the dash. Um, and extend that brake pedal and with all that done and the bodywork finished on the other side um, I'll be ready to take the cab off the frame again and uh, get it into primer so that's what I'm working towards might not get all that far than this video but uh, we'll get we'll get moving along anyhow so uh, yeah might as well just get to it Okay, so uh, before I move the truck this way, so I can get to the other side and put uh, this door on, I just want to show you something real quick. You'll see the door closed. See this lip here that's it's kind of where the cab is sticking past the door? That's intentional. Um, see the play in the door? That's room for the rubber. So once the rubber is on, the door will sit nice and flush. Um, if you don't leave that that space um, <laughs> You'll have a hell of a time closing your doors and your doors are going to stick out past the cab. So uh, yeah Make sure you leave yourself a little bit of space for your rubbers. So uh, And once it's out, it'll be nice and flush, you know, it'll sit the way it should and uh, Look good. So and the gap is uh, It's mint it's right on the money so I just got a couple little spots to sand on the side and I'm going to pull the truck towards me towards me <clears throat> so I can get it the other side and uh, do the same things I did in this side. Okay, well, I'm still working around these damn louvers. Man, louvers are a pain in the ass. You know, they, they look good, but uh, what a bitch to work around. Um, anyhow, before I put the doors on, I want to finish sanding this and get this nice and cleaned up. Like I said, it's easier to sand with the door off, this front... Uh, front pillar uh, but as soon as I'm done this I'm gonna put the door on and then we'll adjust it to, uh, you know front to back the hinges before I put them on uh, was a few videos ago I uh, used the uh, rust converter on the underside of the hinge back back side of the hinge and around the hinge pocket and then I also epoxied the back side of the hinge and the uh, and the jam so there's no reason to take these back out again um, and they're adjusted for in and out already and up and down. So the only adjustment I have, like the other door, was uh, just, you know, front to back. That's it. And that's very simple. I mean, you can see the slotted holes. Just loosen the bolts and move the door this way and that to uh, even out your gaps. So, uh, yeah, I got some sanding to do. And uh, when I get the door swinging, I'll uh, come back and show you the, the final adjustment. These doors are going to have to come off one more time uh, before I paint. Um, you know, I'm going to jam jam the truck and j I do the inside of the doors and door jams uh, off the truck, and then I'll put them back on. It's just too hard to get in there with your gun and get a, a proper uh, proper paint on the uh, on the jams the door hanging on there. So, and, and it's just really here that's the problem. I mean, the rest of it, you can open the door and get out, you know, get out all the rest of it. But uh, if you're going to jam it, might as well jam the whole thing. So that's where I'm at. And uh, yeah, once I get the door swinging, I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, I've been uh, doing a fair amount of sanding. <laughs> uh, just about ready to put the door on. I'll just show you real quick what's going on. So it's the... Uh, you know, louvers look great, but uh, what a pain in the ass to sand around. But anyway, I think I got them pretty good now. Um, the back section over there, back pillar, I'm going to get that when the door's in place. I'm ready to hang the door now and uh, carry on. But, uh, man, like I said, louvers look wonderful, but uh, to work around, pff, horrible. Anyway, here we are. Okay, so I got one bolt tightened on each uh, hinge. That's it. This one here, I ran a tap through already. There's the tap. So 3 8 fine thread. 
And, uh, you know, when I close the door, you can see my issue here. It's not even close. So the top has to go in quite a bit. So I'll go ahead and do that and uh, see where we're at. Maybe I should set up the camera for that. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, we'll loosen off the top bolt. Maybe a half a turn on the bottom, just so it'll move. the whole big bunch hey okay, see what we got the other side I wanted this play here that is not bad I think the bottom has to go this way a little bit just a touch you'll see how the latch door kind of drops when it comes off the latch so the latch is pulling it up okay pulled it out just a little bit Gap is better. Everything's better. That's the spot. Yeah. Right on. Okay. So I can finish uh, sanding the uh, rear pillar and, you know, then it's uh, onto the uh, steering column and brake pedal. So, hmm, that was easier than it. Even the other side was. <laughs> All right, so I got one bolt in here. It's tight. Uh, the other two can't get them started for nothing. So I'll just take my uh, my top here, and we'll see if we can get these threads threading again. Come on now. There she goes. Okay, that's one. Really messed up. I have to work it nice and slow. In and out, you know, till it's smooth all the way. Good to go. So 
So, this one. Let's get them started, and then I'll tighten them up. don't look too good that's much better yeah okay let's grab it okay I'll go ahead and tighten them up and then we'll uh, check out how our door is uh, sitting okay they're all in all tight all good so uh, yeah go so you can see the gap is nice and we have that a bit of a lip here so that when the door rubber is installed the door will sit out like so nice and flush gap look uh, looks right on the money yeah we're golden man so front gap as well so uh, yeah I'm calling that part done so over here on this side, there we go. Okay, my brake pedal. Um, it's going to end up down here below the column. That's where I want it to be. So I'm going to have to change, modify this arm, add to it, bring it down and across. That'll be my brake pedal. And uh, so that's not a problem. I can do that with the uh, cab off the frame same deal with the steering column pretty much I'm gonna make up a bracket comes down and then it angles out you know it's gonna because it sits flat here so it's gonna come down like so angled out and then the two pieces to clamp the, the column in place and uh, yeah so I can make those up also when the uh, when the cab is off the frame so what I want to do next is get the cab off the frame <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna get it up but i'm not gonna put it on the uh on the cart just yet because once it's in the air i'll get the frame out of the way and wire brush and epoxy the underside of the floor and then i'm done with it so uh once i get the uh the epoxy on the floor of course it's gonna have to sit for uh Overnight, before I can put it on the cart, let that stuff dry. So I'm going to go ahead and take the, uh, the booster and master off. Uh, the pedals out. Take the column out. Uh, maybe even, I guess you can leave the seat in. Sure, why not? And uh, get it up in the air. Get underneath it. And uh, cover it up with epoxy. So I'm going to use the DOM-16, the uh, chassis coating. Same stuff I used on the frame. So, uh, yeah, I've got just enough left to do it. And uh, I'm quite pleased with, uh, with the way the doors fit. That's for damn sure. That's awesome, man. Considering what I had when I first hung the doors, they were brutal. So, good. Let's get it up in the air. Okay, so uh, the cab's off the frame. Uh, I was going to film it in time lapse and, uh, you know, do my thing. But uh, it was on the regular setting, so... It took, I can tell you this, it took 37 minutes exactly to uh, get the cab off the frame. Um, you know, I've shown it on here on this channel, I think six times now I've taken this cab off. So, uh, you know, it's straightforward, pretty easy deal. I essentially take, there's two pieces of rectangular steel tubing. And I slide them through the windshield and to through the back window. And when making most blocks of wood, etc., etc., and uh, then I I uh, use a hoist, catch it, pick it up from the uh, from the tops of the windows, and uh, slide the chassis out from underneath. And you, generally, I would put it on the uh, on this wooden cart or steel cart, I should say. Um, but this time, I put it on sawhorses so that underneath is free and clear. Because I want to get underneath it, wire brush everything, and seal it up with epoxy. And uh, then I'm pretty much done under the cab. I don't have to go back under there at all. There might be a little bit of seam sealer work to do. 
but uh, you know she's good and she's good installed so it's not going anywhere I feel comfortable uh, crawling underneath it and doing my thing so I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, then I can finish sanding actually I'll probably sand most of this in place it's not a bad working height and uh, then I'll get it on the cart for uh, for priming but uh, yeah 37 minutes not bad that's cleaning all the junk out of the way moving everything over you know making room so I can get the chassis right up to the wall almost and uh, getting the cab off the frame so I'm getting quick at it quicker and quicker each time I think but uh, yeah it's good so that's where I'm at so there we go that's enough of that for today uh, it's uh, ice cold pop time So anyhow, uh, yeah, got a lot done. So the doors are all fitting good. The uh, cab is off the frame. I don't feel like crawling under that thing tonight and wire brushing it and everything. It's, uh, what is it, 7.30 Monday night. Um, so I've got to build this video you're watching and <laughs> get it out tomorrow morning. So uh, really don't have time anyhow. But uh, first order of business tomorrow will be to do that, get underneath and uh, get it all cleaned up. And... Uh, Shot of that Dom 16 uh, chassis coating, uh, seal her up good, uh, any any uh, seam sealer where required, get that all out of the way, and then I don't have to touch anything underneath that thing again. So uh, that's a good thing. Uh, I'll have to let that dry, you know, for a good day before I put it on the cart, or it'll probably just glue right to the cart. <laughs> I don't want that. Um, <clears throat> So I got a ton of other things I can do. I can uh, get back on the exhaust uh, while I'm waiting for it to dry. But once I do get it on the cart, uh, I'm gonna wheel it around, switch, do the old switcheroo, get the chassis to the back of the garage, the cab to the front, and get it ready for a primer. So for that, there's pretty much the uh, fill the hole, the original hole for the steering column, because I had to go lower with it. So I gotta fill that in. Uh, a little bit of sanding and it's ready to shoot in primer and start you know finishing off the uh, block sanding on it so the cab is pretty close to being ready for paint probably I'm gonna say uh, two weeks I should be shooting some color on some of this stuff so that's a good thing that's uh, I'm getting kind of pumped and uh, you know speaking of colors uh, I met with the upholstery girl this morning uh, nice lady um, Saw some samples, and uh, the whole deal here is she, she made me pick out three or four, and the reason for that is availability. Apparently, it's a real bitch getting getting material. Um, a lot of stuff isn't available, so I picked three, uh, three vinyl, and one marine vinyl. Uh, it's nice quality stuff, and. Uh, the color selection is so much better than the cloth. The cloth has a lot of that, you know, houndstooth stuff and little checkers and too busy for me anyway. So I'm sticking with the vinyl, the single color. And uh, <clears throat> she's going to let me know later on this week what, uh, what kind of uh, price we're looking at and how long to get it. <clears throat> also, her and her husband came by here. A little while later because like a dumbass i forgot my glasses at her place and uh, they brought the glasses out to me and decided it was a good time to look at the truck anyhow so they did that especially the headliner uh, i guess the husband does the headliners so uh, they're going to figure that out and uh, get back to me on that as well uh, i've got to pick up the material to make the door panels and the kick panels so uh, that'll be my job i'm trying to keep the cost down so if i can get those made up for her and she just has to cover them bonus so uh yeah so that's where we're at on that and uh what else i got a few little things left to do on the chassis not much a uh, couple of brake lines and what fill the diff with oil a couple of bolts in the rear springs and uh run some that's about it really <laughs> the exhaust uh, hang the exhaust so those are little things I can get at while I'm waiting for the epoxy to dry and, and other stuff between coats of primer and what have you so uh, moving right along it's uh, it's really coming together
Uh, what else? Uh, new subscribers. Good bunch again uh, this week. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, if you uh, haven't subscribed already, please do. And if you have subscribed, uh, tell a buddy and spread the word, you know. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's growing at a good pace, and uh, I, I like it. And, uh, you know, don't be, don't be afraid to leave comments. Don't be shy. Uh, I like the comments. Comments have been a little thin lately, but I guess people have things to do as well. So, uh, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I like the comments, and I do try and respond to all of them. And, uh, yeah, if you don't do anything else, get out in the garage and build something, man. Later, guys.